So you're sitting on your couch thinking, I sure wish I knew how to cook. Well, in just a few minutes, you can learn with me how to live a natural life, cook healthy foods, and enjoy an incredible array of delicious dishes. So stick around, kick back, and welcome to cooking class. saying yeah. okay well today we will be discussing uh, sort of seasonal cooking seasonal so we're gonna cook sort of light springtime kinds of foods Right? In Chinese medicine, we say that spring governs the function of the liver. And what you want to do is make sure that your liver is happy. And the way you do that is the way you cook and the foods you choose to eat. So what we're going to do is take a leak. <laughs> Behave. So I rinse the leak under cold water to get the sand out between all the many layers. How much of the dark green do you get rid of? None of it if I can. Right? That's where the sun hit the leak, and that's where the chlorophyll is. So these are new potatoes, and we're just going to cut those into a dice. When you make soups, it's important that you dice your vegetables small. Number one, that gives us lots of surface area to bleed into the broth to make your broth sweet. And the other thing that it does is make your soup more... I'm going to use the word appealing, but it's more appealing, more delicious, because you don't want great big chunks in your soup. Now, I want carrot to be small pieces. So if your carrots are on the larger side, rather than cut it into spears and then into chunks, I'm going to do sort of a julienne cut. Then take the julienne pieces, cut across those, and this will give me a nice fine dice. There's one more step. Then you gather all those little julienne pieces together and you turn them so that they are all facing this way. And make sure everyone's facing this way. <laughs> and then you chop across them to get a dice. Now you kind of move a little bit because the potatoes, the little chunks of potatoes, are totally soaking up the oil. Now we add the real key to this recipe, which is the barley. This is called hatomugi barley or pearl barley, not pearled, pearl barley. And pearl barley is known in the Orient for creating beautiful skin. So these go in. And now we add water. When you serve soup, you always want to make sure that you garnish the soup with something fresh. It helps to sort of lift the flavors of the soup. It also helps to lift the energy of the soup so that it makes digestion even easier. And I like to garnish my soup with something sharp, maybe arugula, scallions, chives, parsley, something that has a little bit of a sharp taste. And so there you go. There's our spring vegetable barley soup. Chinese noodles. So you can use Japanese noodles for this dish or you can use um, whole wheat spaghetti. We're going to use whole wheat spaghetti. I'm a pasta breaker. So I have salted water. Pasta goes in to cook. Now we're going to saute some veggies. Take some ginger, some garlic, scallion. We're going to build our flavor in the skillet and then we'll make our peanut sauce. So, I'm gonna quickly cut, you can also do this as ginger juice, but I kinda of like these little matchstick things because then you get this really nice bite of ginger. And ginger is really good for circulation. Since I want a strong taste, I'm gonna smash the garlic first. 
I'm going to stir them until they start to sort of brown just a little bit. We're going to take some scallion and chop the scallion into great big pieces. So I don't want them to cook a whole lot. Now, the root of the scallion, to use or not to use? Use. Use? Why would we use it? Because the roots conduct the nutrients from the soil up into the scallion. If they're beautiful like these, like really fresh, beautiful scallion roots, use them. And they are literally just going to stir in. Let's take the noodles right from here, right in, yeah? yeah. They're not quite cooked. I don't want them cooked. I'm going to finish cooking them in the skillet. All right, so now we're going to stir in some roasted peppers, roasted peppers for color. And you can either roast the pepper yourself or you can buy them in a jar. Okay, so now we're going to turn off the heat. Take some peanut butter, creamy for this. I know. Who said, mm? seriously, peanut butter? Is there life without peanut butter? No, not at all. It's the greatest American food. OK, so in goes peanut butter, some light sesame oil. I just want to get a little sesame taste to kind of um, give a little support, if you will, to the peanut butter. A little bit of soy sauce, a tiny bit of brown rice syrup. Why not? Don't you think? Oh, gorgeous. Seriously. A little brown rice vinegar to kind of just make things snap. You can use lemon juice, you can use brown rice vinegar, but it kind of just like brings a little that, exactly that. And then you just mix. I'm gonna lift some noodles into the bowl. Oh, this is a bowl dish. You don't need these on a plate. This is, you know, you sit down, curl up around your bowl, sprinkle it with some fresh roasted peanuts. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I get really involved with my food. Okay, there's our Chinese noodles with peanut sauce. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you at the next cooking class at the restaurant school at Walnut Hill College. And remember, till then, eating well is your best, best revenge. revenge. Thank you very much. Christina is refreshing to listen to um, because she delivers a fresh approach that um, you can't get from reading a book. Um, or from reading something online. So it's fun to watch her cook, and she's enthusiastic about cooking, and it's really an enjoyable experience.